Hi everyone, I just wanted to walk you through how to make uh, an interactive bulletin board or a poster. So I have a finished one here. Um, I just want to point your attention to a couple of things and I will have attached photos as well. Um, so here's the materials that you'll need. You will need a piece of either bristle board, some type of construction paper, or just your normal bulletin board. You'll also need a roll of copper tape um, along with a makey makey and which is hooked up via USB port to a computer of some capacity. And you actually need to be on scratch in order to make this work. There are other ways you can do it, but this is the easiest way. Um, in regards to the copper tape, which you can see here, I would elect to use a thicker tape. Um, and you'll kind of see why, and I'll demonstrate um, why it's important. But basically when the students go to press the given button, it works more effectively if you have thicker tape because you're uh, leaving less room for air. So I've created a few questions here and I want to just walk you through how you would do them. So what you need to do is with your Makey Makey, you need to find the ground wire which is attached to this bottom rung here which appears to be like a steel color. Um, and you can see the gray alligator clip is connected there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the other end and then when I press the bottom tip of one of the points, you will notice that it plays a sound. I would prefer not to say a single thing about the matter. So it plays back an audio recording of who will be president of the United States. So I've set up a few different questions here. And what I've done is strategically, I have placed the um, clips uh, in response to the equal sign. And I call these my trigger points. So that for my five times three question, if you scroll all the way down, you'll notice that my alligator clip is connected at the back to that equal sign. Same with my present United States question, 10 times two, uh, my short story and six times four, I've done the exact same things. Now, when you notice the back, just bear with me as I'm gonna flip this over. So on the back side, you can see that I've run copper tape all the way from the back to those equal signs so that when I press them, no matter where I press them, it will actually play the recording. Um, you wanna hide these because it makes it look um, visually more appealing. Um, so that's why I do it. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Keep in mind that this poster is rather um, plain. I don't have any visuals or pictures. I wasn't going for aesthetics, just more of a tutorial for how to complete it and do it. Uh, stay tuned as I will post another video about the coding aspect uh, for this activity. Thank you.